Hey everybody and welcome to another Learn to Digitize video. My name is Sue and I am with OML Embroidery and OML Digitizing and today we are talking about outlining and what cool things you can do with outlining. So let me show you first what uh, what the outlining does. So let's do some lettering. So I go over here to my favorite toolbox, click on lettering and monogramming, and you just simply click on the A right here. And I'm gonna type it in the text box. You can type it here if you want, but I'm just in the habit of using the text box. So uh, let's do OML embroidery loves hatch because everyone knows by now that we do and our letters just pop up like that you can edit them you can change everything but for now we're just going to keep them simple and let's change it to a nice color how about red red works so we want all of these letters outlined and it would take a long time to do it manually Fortunately, we have um, a really cool tool that's going to help us out with that. So what we want to do is we want to edit. So we're going to go to edit objects and we're going to go down to the bottom and we're going to go to this right here, this pretty flower with a pretty outline and it's called create outline and offsets. And you click on that and a pop up comes up and you have two choices. You have object outlines and offset outlines. For this video, we're just going to do object outlines. And if you look here, you can pick what kind of stitch that you want for that. You can always go by and change it later. But for now, we're just going to stick to a single run. You can pick your color. Actually, purple? Eh, why not purple? Now, these three things are your choices. So the first one is individual outlines. All outlines created will be full outlines. So it doesn't matter if there's an overlap. You can look in the nice picture here and it'll tell you. It doesn't matter if there's an overlap. It's still going to underline it. So this one is common outlines. All intersecting outlines will be welded combined into a single outline. So if you have more of a scripty font and you don't want this definition and overlaps, this is the one you're gonna pick. And this one is trimmed outlines. The overlap portions of outlines will be trimmed by the overlapping objects. So you guys can play around with these and see which one you like best. So I'm gonna choose the middle one because um, that's what we want for generally for um, lettering and this is going to work for me now so let's click OK and look what happens give it a sec and look at we have this awesome outline that let's even zoom in it's perfect it's absolutely perfect so that was like two clicks to do it and you can see here this is my lettering and this is my open path for everything so let's go on one and I just clicked on the, it's the outside of the O. And here you can see it and you can change whatever kind of um, stitching that you want. Now back stitch looks pretty good at this size. Sem stitch, well, you know, that's actually kind of groovy. It's not really what it's meant to be, but hey, experiment. Think outside the box. That's kind of a tire-like effect. Um, zigzag. I kind of like that one too. I don't know if that's going to work on any of the other letters. Let's try because that actually looks kind of cool. Nope, that only works on the O. Let's go back to single run for the M. Sorry. Um, so you can play around. You can satin. This is way too small for satin. But if you had bigger letters and you wanted them outlined, the satin would work. You can thin down the satin a little bit. But for this one, I know my lettering's a little bit too small. So now the other thing is if you look along here, it's doing the letters and then it's doing the little pieces inside the letters. So it's doing the outside of the letters and then coming back and you're going to have tons of jump stitches. So what I think you should do is I clicked on the top one. I'm holding down the shift key all the way down to the bottom. And what we want to do is right over here, still in editing, I haven't changed anything, and we want to go to branching. And we're going to let Hatch set up everything for us. 
and fix it up for us. It may take a minute because it's got to calculate everything. But when you're done, everything, it should do the outside of the O, then the inside, and then do nearest connection, which would probably be there to the M, and it'll go on and it, it's a little more in order and I kind of like it best. There we are branching. You know how to check for this. Let's go to watch it stitch out. We don't have to watch the red because we know how lettering is going to stitch out. Let's go right to the blue, purple, sorry. And you see how that did that? The L, the E, the B, and then the inside of the B. And that's how you fix that. So you can play around. It doesn't have to be lettering. You can play around with any kind of object and that's how easy it is to put an outline on any object here inside Hatch Embroidery Software.